Okay, yes. so the Aries are the idea generators and the impulse people. So they come up with ideas and thoughts, and they're always brainstorming and trying to figure out what's the next thing, what's the next thing. Mm -hmm. But they're not actually going to do anything. They're just going to come up with ideas. And the Taurus will take some of those ideas and run off with them and start with a lot of energy and, and take them somewhere. And then the Gem Geminis kind of get involved and start weighing it back and forth and whether we can do it this way or that way or what's next or how do we do this. And, but then the Cancers kind of come up with the plan. This is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to do it. But they can't get people together to do it. You've got to get the Leo person involved. And the Leo person takes charge and says, okay, I'm in charge and we're getting this done now. And they take off with it. But then the Virgo says, well, you guys are just being sloppy now. Let's straighten this up. Let's neaten this up. Let's be a little bit tidier about it. Then you get the Libra person again. And they're like, uh, well, are we sure that that's how we want to do it? Because we could have done it this way. And, and if you let the Libra person take all the energy out of it, which they will, if you just let them debate about it, they'll suck all of the energy back out of it and you'll lose traction and stop moving forward. But then you have the next sign, which I think is Scorpio. Mm -hmm. And they're more energy signs again. And they're sort of like, no, we're doing it. Let's go. They're fearless. And they take it on a little bit farther. And then you have the I guess it's Sagittarius. Sagittarius. And the Sagittarius are again, they come back to that um, energy. Um, how do we do this? We, we got to get this. We're going to take over. We're going to move straight forward with it. Then you get the Capricorns and they start second guessing things. And I know it's the Scorpios that come in next. And the Scorpios are like, well, you know, we really need to have some fun with this. No, that's Sagittarius <laughs> would be more fun. Yeah. And then that Scorpio was before Sagittarius, whatever. And the Capricorn. oh, Capricorns are like the, the organized people. So they're like, now that everything is running, let's keep it running. Let's yeah. make it work. Yeah. Right. And then the Aquarius people are like, oh, this is all the way it should be, and this is wonderful, and let's get more people involved, and very let's true. bring more people to the team. And then the Aquarius Pisces people are like, people the Pisces people are like, you know what? There's this whole system of how everything works, but there's some stuff about it I don't like, so I'm just going to kind of ignore that stuff, uh -huh. and I'm going to create something in my head that's a better idea. But I'm not actually going to actually do any of the stuff. I'm just going to yes. think about it oh, yes. and and dwell on it. Yes. And 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 I'll be happy because yeah. that's all that's important to me. But if I'm confronted <laughs> with reality, reality will be too harsh, and I don't want to be confronted with reality. And then the Aries are all like, "Well, you know what? The way we've been doing things is not the right way to do it. Let's try something new. Here are some things we can try." Right now. Yeah. And then you start the cycle off. And that's how the astrological sign works on a team. Oh my gosh, thank you ever so kindly. It was excellent. We're not doing that. Okay. What is it anyway, then? Aries in a Pisces cuz. That's all you need to say. Well, I know. know okay, you're it's like <laughs> in your bar chart, you're leaning a bit more towards Pisces, but you're on the cusp of Aries. Your moon is in. Capricorn, that's your inner being. This is your mind and your emotions. So you're kind of like above your emotions, you know, swimming with your hooves and a mermaid like a goat. And then it's like, um, your dad, um, I mean, your, your mom, you didn't, you probably bought your own car and wanted to work first, right? Like go to work first. Yeah. I disciplined depended on myself. Always. You depend on yourself because your mom wasn't like, she's more di like made you learn to grow up fast. You had to learn to grow up fast. She was mentally disabled, so, okay. yeah, so I had to do that stuff. You had to be like her yeah. her dad. That's what you had to be. I don't know anything about her dad. No, you had, no, you, you had to be a father <laughs> no, it, figure to her. It wasn't like that. You had to take care of her it, more it, a little bit. It, your own, you know. Okay, your Saturn's in Taurus, which means your dad either spoiled you with money or you had to learn uh, financial security through him. He's there, he either was your sugar daddy with money and you were a brat, spoiled brat. He could give you a a, a, a a business of your own and give you everything, but it'll take it away from you, like food uh -huh. and uh, money. That's what, and so you thought that food and money was left through him, or you had to do it all by yourself and you had to live an honest living because sometimes you probably were homeless because it was taken away from you unless you were already living an honest, working living, you know what I mean? And getting well, we, your were, food. we were working class. We, were, we weren't, uh, there was no money. So you was not, so you were poor kind of? Yeah. Or just working? We like poor. Hard. You're yeah. poor, so you had to learn about how sometimes you can get food, sometimes you can get money. You know, well, we hard. always had enough. We hard for you. Okay, there but you go. we did never have more than enough. Okay. Yeah.
Well, there you go. Okay, your Mercury's in Aries. That's how you communicate and think. You just think like Aries, talk like an Aries, and kind of aggressive and right away and you know, say things not thinking. Your Venus is in Aquarius, so like in your relationships, you want to be friends first. You'll, you're you looking for friends and you're really a friend in a relationship. And your Mars is in Capricorn, so that's how you get mad. Kind of looks really stubborn and irrational about things and like just very good willpower to be enforcing of your hard work and career or something like that. And like you, uh, you're, you're probably just slow. You take your time if you're having sex with other. And then it's like your Jupiter is in Sagittarius, so you're lucky with traveling and her learning and being happy with the lucky and stuff like that. And uh, Uranus is in Libra, so like when you're weird and awkward, you're just normal. You're not, you're decent. You know, no one's like, oh my god, that freaking weirdo. No, they're like, oh, he's being weird. That's no, not really being weird. It's just normal. You know what I mean? Like, it's accepted. You know what I mean? That's always how that actually is with Uranus and Libra. Just like, you know, it's not like you're all over the top, over the, off the wall, like weird, in your inventive, creative, uh, trendy, futuristic ways and inside of your mind or whatever it's just like decent you know what i mean it becomes out lays out decent no matter how weird you go mm -hmm. not funny and then it's like um your neptune is sagittarius your pluto is in virgo you lie yourself by um doing your tours and stuff and being analytical and perfectionist and lilith and your lilith is in virgo so you people don't see you do that you're kind of contradicting um um it's to the point where you're too critical and people are like ah which, critical is a good thing. Being skeptic and everything is a good thing. Your North Node is in Aquarius. You came here to gain social media, friends, and knowledge of astrology. You came here to... You already got... You already learned how to get all this under and attention to being like this neat Leo narcissist and being creative. You already come here to teach that, but here you came to gain the, you know, knowledge and stuff. <laughs> friends, I don't know. Does that make sense to you? You were talking too fast for me to understand you. Okay, I oh, will. <laughs> Taurus is well, the sense of smell. Look at you, smelly. And you're not bad smelly, but like, I'm allergic to everything, but like, that's cool. I'm just saying, Taurus is well, the sense of smell. That's okay. cool. Okay. But you understand that? And they were yes! like, yes! Such like, a pleasure. Like, food. It's like the food and it's everything. It's the too. earth thing. So I have very sense of smell to Venus everything. Yes. Planet Venus. And they're such good at being stable and respectful to people as a Taurus, but if you nitpick them, them, then they get mad. And you're like, you think you're real cute right now. And I don't want to flex. Wait, Russell Fivers. Or I don't want to, um, you know, eliminate the pleasures in life that we could just be having. Right. So I don't really want to be mad, but if you want to make me mad, you will suffer. And please don't, <laughs> okay? Because they're really powerful. Yeah, get them on that, Because they're, really, they're really, really powerful, and they're stable, and they get away with everything, and they're going to not make you go down with them. You'll, they'll just go down, and y'all stay up. Or like, whatever. Yes. Because Taurus is... He is no, totally right. You and, read and signs, Taurus, don't you? Yeah, I do that, but I also do psychic readings, but that's not psychic reading. And I can tell you about stuff, like... Spirits and stuff that's so much fun. Oh, I know. Yes. Okay, let's see. Um, How old are you? What's your name? I need to know. I'm Kashayla. I'm 29 years old, almost 30 years old this earth. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, would you? Do you have a phone with your um, website? I, mean, I do. With, with the internet, I mean, that's all I need to do is your birth chart. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Our stuff in the little fucking mermaid is a Taurus, and you're mad about it. And so is Hitler, and so is uh, Kirsten Dunst, and uh, okay. Michelle Pfeiffer. What do you think about that? Catwoman, bitch, hey. Oh, <laughs> yes. yes. And the original Joker was a Taurus. I love Marvel oh, comics. <laughs> I love yeah. sci-fi, anything. And your, bu your bubbles are Taurus, I am unoriginal. So, sorry. Yeah, you <laughs> sorry are, you are... I'm Blossom, cus, cus Bubbles, because Pisces is Blossom, and Bubbles is Aquarius, and then I'm Gemini, Cus Cancer Rising, with Gemini is a but, Buttercup, and then Cancer is Bubbles, but whatever. Okay. That's what I'm just saying, that's my interpretation, my own analytical of astrology, all three. And you read people very well. Thank you. You do. You do. You have a very good job of doing that. Pisces, the original. And then that's what we're on this earth for. Yes, know, let's do it. Give for the messages purpose, for everything. You know, and it's to cross paths with people. It's yes, forever. To live our destiny. You are such it's a man and Aquarius acting person. You're like the one that yes. wants the kind of the most social son of all, the most resistant, friendly son of all that knows how to uh, give. Uh, they have the power of giving God's love to everybody, but they're not supposed to personalize well, something. Well, Taurus is for being the world. But you're a Taurus anyway, to so be lo like, like right. loving, Taurus is for, but for mixed being with that. Right, for would, being would, so would, brutal. Yeah. I've learned to be a little bit more 
superficially calm and superficially loving is talking. and and connecting and <laughs> yeah. even though I hate that shit. They know they know the know? they know the value in relationships and possessions right. and financial security. But people cannot be that way towards you. You know, you can be that way towards people, but so many people are not like that. Mm-hmm. So many people are not like that. Video bomb. So I don't know. I try to be that Very way good. just because other people are not. Even though I'm a Taurus, even though I'm, I'm, I'm going to contradict Tori, you know, do what everybody thinks and act a fool. Uh, yeah. But yeah. I will try. And I'll give it a chance, you know, to be a, <laughs> a little teddy bear, you know, a little cub of the earth and try to spread love and peace mm-hmm. and joy. Yeah. Yeah. Very sensual and towards us, yes. They're so relaxed they can be around anyways, you know, and they're respectful. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And it's just like they enjoy the pleasures of the earth and all that beauty stuff. Yes. That, that makes them so anything relaxed. Anything you come into counter with, anything, you know, it's, yeah. and, you know, it's, it's, it's not it's by beautiful. chance. It's for purpose. So. It's like center and interest to coincidence or sometimes, I guess, whatever. So. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Your astrology sign. Hey, DJ, can you please take a stand by like in your code? What's your sign? DJ or something. He's a what? DJ, I need to see. Well, that's they're very stubborn. They don't ever outsource to think everyone's a man. I'm about to act ugly. Love you. Give me act ugly because I am a tourist. <laughs> Can you please have your friend look in his car and see if you see my freaking car? Because that's where they were start last. Out, but we're going to be surviving. You know? And he just fucking completely. Excuse me. He just completely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He said he was. Okay, First of all, y'all need to be talking anyway. Right there? First of all, y'all need to be talking Okay, anyway. I don't need to talk to him until tomorrow. Or like another day. Because. I love everything. Like right now or never. Or never. Yeah. And then like reunite in the likes later. I'm glad that you realized that. Yeah. You know, also. Black lives matter. <laughs> like, totally. Like, <laughs> like, like, Black lives matter because. Instead of Kirk Cobain's lives matter. And okay. Instead of, like, Boone's lives matter. Like, with Percy. I mean, I get that all lives matter, mm-hmm. but Black lives matter. You know? Yeah, you're mad about it. <laughs> I'm not mad about it. <laughs> but yet, I'm glad for people like you who, <laughs> who don't. You don't see color. You just uh, see I see people. color right now. <laughs> I mean, you see plenty of color. I'm very astral. Are you talking about? I'm astral. But you see, you see through color into oh, spirit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. beyond, beyond. Even you know, if race. you're so beautiful in the face right now. Thank you. I think my friends here. I'm the paparazzi. I'm the paparazzi. Capricorn will not let me take pictures of him. <laughs> but you. Shots, you know, so that's how different Capricorns actually act. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He's like the January, he's like the end of the He barely make up. He's a December stronger trait. Yeah, I'm more December 26. Well, at least, even though they're like, I don't know. Maybe take care of him. Later, they are working tomorrow. 5 20 91. What time of birth, like AM or PM kind of thing? I was at a PM because I'm not sure what the fuck I'm doing. I'm not sure Okay. And um, so like Taurus, May 20th on the cusp of Gemini. Yeah. That starts on May 21st. Yeah. So. Yeah. Look me up. Okay. What is Because Shayla. Brand new famous star. Come in the light, Coom. Yeah. Come in the light. Uh huh. It burns, it singes. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Chaos. Because they may turn out to be someone you don't like at first. And then. Testimony of the spirits in the spirit. The spirits. What have you seen? Shadow people? I've seen shadow people. Okay, let me see. And then I've seen um, just white lights. I can't explain. Orbs. I've seen uh, orbs. Pets. I've seen spirits. pets. Spirits too. Tell I've seen pets that. like jumping up and down. I've seen weird. Different look species of pets too, but I've talked to spirits and that are pets that talk about reincarnation. But anyways, what do they look like to you? Mm, um, like clouds, kind of like um. Yeah. Like there's orbs. Yeah. Orbs. I've seen that too. And then there's like shadows of like. She knows too. Um, it's like. You catch something like from like the corner of your eye. Mm-hmm. Like I've seen more than that, but 
And it's like, what, what was what that? Mean, like, you think you just seen something? Like, it, it doesn't, like, stay around. Have you communicated with any of them yet? Have they got to, you hear them, listen to them, and have conversations with them yet? Because I have. Yes. With people, they have to be around them. And if you have these spirits around you, I can possibly tap into what you've seen already, and I can be able to see it too, because it's what I see through other people, is their experience, and I can tap into stuff like that. And that's so... I have recordings, but... Tell me what the rest of them look like. Like, any faces? And what voices did you say you had? I've heard this, like, guy's voice recently. Um, <laughs> tell me, like, just, like, um... Your time is limited. Really? He got in my in the bedroom and, like, get in... He was like, I can see him walk around the bed and then okay. come into my face and then... Really? And then they were just... Yes. Really? Yes. What do you think about that? Um, I don't like it. It's just, yeah. <laughs> it sucks. What do you like about, what do you think about what, what he said? Are you worried about it or is it because he wants it to happen or he's just trying to tell you it might happen? And what do you think about it? I'm just trying not to think about it. To Maybe think. Jess is flagging you through the, this house with Scorpio. I mean, all this Mars and Scorpio going on, the occult knowledge and mysteries are part of that. Power, willpower. I don't know. I don't know. What else? Have you seen angels with wings or anything like that? i seen, um, in, in my old house there was this, uh, I, I, it was like a lady in a, in a white nightgown type deal. I don't think she was a, I don't know if she didn't have wings, but she, was, she appeared as white. Uh, I've seen her protector that looked like that. Without wings. <sighs> she, was, she was very, very like... Yeah. What? What color was her eyes? What color was her hair? How long was it? Was it wavy? Curly? Why? Poofy? Yeah, she, was, she was white, blonde, and... It was straight hair. I, I don't remember what color. I think her eyes were like hazel or brown. Oh, yeah. I think hazel. Cool. And did any of them say anything about those the words that spoke out to you the most? And what about the animals? Did they talk to you? Did you see anything about their life? Like she would, she would like try, I think she tried to talk to me, but I couldn't make it out. Like, what the hell she was saying. Oh, okay. So you didn't get too many with your ears. And then... Switch ears. And then no. Huh. But the, but, the, but the spirit animals would play with the real live dogs. Yeah, really? Yeah, the they real would... live dogs would see them or aware, be aware of them? Yeah, would, they would bark. <laughs> they would what? Bark? Bark. Each other? bark you like, see yeah. the spirits that in plain sight to you? Wow. Yeah. That is very interesting. That's true. What else do you think was going on in the communication? Uh, one time when I... Um, I, I put a new wall into my to a, I put a dividing wall up in, a, in my house mm -hmm. and I heard in the middle of the night someone walking and hitting the, the and then, then grunting like, oh no they forgot that, that I put a wall there they didn't know I put a wall there and I was the only one in the house and I, and I got up and I checked to make sure I was still the only one in the house and all the windows and doors were locked yeah. And no one was in there. It was just me. So I, I presume it was a ghost. That, like, okay. Did, well, what did the ghost look like? And how did you uh, observe that it was a ghost again? What? Oh, it just it didn't like the new floor plan. Okay, yeah. Did you sense it walking through it? Or mm -hmm. like I could hear it walking and then it like oh. ran to the new wall. Okay. Did you see it though? No, I didn't see that one. Okay. It sounded like Amanda. Uh. Uh, wow. Cool. Anything else that you psychically pick up on people and stuff like that? What can you do about psychically picking up on me? What do you see in me? What do you see in my struggle? Where's my fears and stuff? Or whatever you think. Or where do you think my life's heading? Where do you think's gone? What vibes do you sense of me? If you can explain me. Or was that just weird? You can call me anything you want. Over to 
Just say what you see. Like what comes to your thoughts, just automatically. Mm -hmm. Time's up, bitch. Are you psyching yet? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Just guess something about me. Um, do you like to drive? What? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like to drive? Yeah, do you like to go, to go, to go hiking? <sighs> yes, I love that. Um, I'm gonna get my lip, my cheek. Uh huh. <sighs> and it hurt. Oh, let's go to horse ride riding. Where can we go horse ride riding? Where's the closest place? Where's the closest place? I go horse ride riding, yes. You know where to go to play with horses? I would definitely want to do that, especially for my birthday. And September's coming up, and the fair's going to be closed, probably. So I want to go ride a horse that's, like, available. Somebody that you know gets horses that you could just ride. I wish. I, I'm not that equestrian. Okay, well, let's go ride right equestrian. Okay, um, what else do you want to tell the world audience about God? What do you think about God and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, you're, you're Christian. Or are you atheist? Um, Are you Wiccan? A psychic. I speak, I'm a medium. And that's what I know. And Wiccan is a pretty um, decoration. And I do think that it's healthy and it's really cool and it works. But um, I'm really just psychic. Um, the eyes and heart alone. And I want to know. I've seen everything in the Bible. I've seen Four-Face being in the Bible. It's supposed to be the protector of God's throne. It's called the Seraphim. Have you ever heard about it? Well, then a lot of people have not heard about it, neither have I, until I saw it in person. I was encountering it with the second abilities at a restaurant. Those cameras wouldn't go there one day, and I'll give them some butter that I can actually use for their pan, because I probably might be allergic to their kind, and I just will order some eggs or give them an, some eggs to make me, just so I can loiter on their property and <laughs> film it, saying, this is where I saw the seraphim, what does people think about it? It's actually in the fucking Bible, and I never knew it until like two months after I've seen this weird, crazy creature. You know, it's, for, it's supposed to be gloriously for it just came to someone like lightning. But I said it came to me like, strobe light every time it would change its faces. It didn't have four heads, it had four faces. A lion Leo face. A Aquarius human face. And a eagle scorpion face. An ox. God's favorite, Taurus face, and that's also my favorite, and the one to be trusted with the scrolls, and God's anger, to pour God's anger out, stably, like a Taurus. Rules the earth, and beauty, and relationships, value, and physical stimulation, and, and as the smell is Taurus. But anyways, it had like six wings or whatever. And it had eyeballs in the wings, and it even says this in the Bible, and this is what I've seen before I ever read or asked anybody about this. And I keep on trying to ask everybody so I can learn all I know of what I experienced and encountered without ever knowing the story of it. And that's pretty fucking groovy, because I haven't met Adam and Eve either, or Steve, or Karen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't either. No, I know. I don't believe in zebras. I do believe in unicorns because I've never seen them yet. But that'd be cool. I've seen everything else that you can name. Dragons, fairies, worms, Jesus, angels, demons, um, shadow people. Um, I've seen uh, orbs. I've got orbs on camera. Um, um, I've seen um, um, my family's references, my dad, my some dogs and some cats and I've seen a lot of birds they all talk to me and everything it's cool and I've seen lots of bird spirits come from other people's calmness like if they like at this organic store she 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 want her presence made me like have a side effect going a bunch of birds just flying around me and her like that would be outside you know how that you can run around and there's was a doves or something in New York or something you can try to chase birds because there's so many, so much of them on the ground. You know what I mean? Have you ever had that experience? In such a, such a bunch of birds. Oh, well, that's kind of how it's like in the spiritual. There's a bunch of birds there too, and mine is in spiritual too. And it went with this dude that came to the house. 
He also was my Scarpa best friend. Um, Grandma's bird. And her son, which is my Scarpa best friend's mother's twin. He was a twin brother of her mom. Aries, I guess I was wrong. But he had 10,000 Pisces. She did with her twin. Anyways, cool. I got a little story. Your lime green jello. Mm. You're mad about it. What's a lime green jello? Lime green jello. I think you have lemon disease or lime disease. I'm 35, 78% sure that I have lemon disease, lime disease. Mm. Y'all have different ones. There's two different ones. I'm allergic to lemons, so that's a lemon disease. Oh, yeah. What's your astrology sign? Huh? What's your astrology sign? What? What's your astrology sign? I'm sorry, I can't. What is your astrology sign? Are you a Virgo, Scorpio? Uh, I'm October. I used to be Libra? Scorpio, Libra, one of the two. Scorpio, cuss Libra. See how good I cussed you. High five. Oh, high five. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I'm a Pisces in the cusp of Aquarius, and you are probably just Scorpio, cuss Libra. You didn't, none of that stuff changed. Don't worry about it. Sign is for me, real quick. For my college class, that's all you gotta do. Virgo. Right. What's your astrology sign? Virgo. Thank you ever so kindly. Okay. What's your astrology sign? Pisces. Thank you ever so kindly. I hope that's visible. Is your astrology sign? Just say it. Uh, Pisces. Thank you ever so kindly. Yeah. What is your astrology sign? What's your sign? Are you a Virgo, Scorpio? Cancer. Cancer. Thank you ever so kindly. Oh, yes? What is your astrology sign? Fuck you. That's right. Why are you Capricorn. said we got hung up with one. What? Astrology sign, like are you a Libra? What's your astrology sign? I'm an Aquarius. Thank you ever so kindly. <laughs> I'm a Pisces cusp Aquarius. Sagittariuses are dumb fucking dogs that you just cannot potty train. And they're like, oops, I did it again, oh, oops, yeah. I did it again. Oops, oops, I did it again. Just like Brain Spears says, oops, I did it again. That, that their their freaking life lesson is to say I'm sorry every day, and they never do any other. They don't evolve from learning from that. You're speaking too much And it's now. just so dumb. Sad shares is whatever. Bomb dot com. Virgo got something to say. <laughs> no, not always. I just try to... What do you say about Virgos? Why do you think that that they're hated on? Uh, uh, uh. All right, so Virgos, we're like, I guess what? Apparently, to the rest of the uh, to the rest of the zodiacs, we're um, we're too nitpicky. We're know it alls. Uh, we're buzz kills. We're we're a bunch of, uh, whether they were control freaks on the other end, um, as, I don't know, I, I just really think that, you know, we, we just know what the fuck we want, that's what we all say, you know, we just know what we want, we might be a little stubborn, some of us might be just a little more quiet and humble, but it's still the same, you know, we just, we're picky, that's the, that's the very good man, we're just a, we, we don't fucking just go and throw ourselves out there willy-nilly, we're a little bit out, really nilly. should we, or, I don't think that's a good idea, mm -hmm. if it is, or if it's a risk, uh, let's calculate that a little bit. Yes. Do it. They'll come up with the plan and why something is and take away the toxins and get the minerals and uh, vitamins out of it and separate the stuff because they are the digestive mind or whatever. Right. If you separate the leader and the chef, you're basically harvesting. That's how you're going to uh, fill out a feast or have food, you know, regular family granary. you got to first harvest it, right? Yeah, that is all freaking Virgo, man. They turn over their products, and they are the farmers, and they have a relationship with the plants and animals. Virgos is the shizizzle. Well, also, too, what's interesting is that in ancient Greece, like, you had oracles. Oracles were, like, coming from, like, virgin females. And a lot of, like, like tooting, like, tuning horns or anything like that. Yeah. They are, like, that's a pretty much a good way to symbolize the two things. I mean, not all oracles are... Virgos, but there's a similarity right there. 
They're uh, pure-hearted, uh, or at least yes, pure-minded. Yes, they mind. are pure-minded. Pure-minded, oh. That's what I say, baby. Hmm. They're so, they're so perfect because they're going to become ultimate perfect. And mm. Saturn restricts perfection, and I have Saturn in the sixth house, and I'm a Virgo. So, mm. I understand that life. I really do. I fucking do. What do you think? I was not a fourth house Virgo, so I know it's like when I go home, I become a Virgo, and then I want to come out here, I'm like, it's fake, it's fake. It, it's interesting. I have a uh, different like re- like uh like you know relationship bonds like uh different like like <clears throat> different uh signs different uh different. Oh man, I'm fucking going brain fried on on the technology. Case of drugs. Um. Drugs are ruled by Neptune and. Ooh. Oh. Um. With all the zodiacs. I'm, Okay, so I know this much. Here's been my relationship with each different sign, okay? All right. I mean, Libras, where I'm going to go right there to the ones right there. I'm a Libra cusp, so, you know, uh, that's uh, that's where my little balance element comes in. It's, it's actually cool because now I got the Libra balance, the scales, and then I got the Earth, too. You know? That's basically what it would it'd be justice and law, you know? But um, Libra is a way of, like, pretty oh much God. everything but yeah. business for the most part. <laughs> what the hell? No, <laughs> everything but long term business, like Libras, I can get along with them on almost everything, you know. Or when I mean, it comes, you have Lang, and then you have all Lang. Like, are you kidding me? You're not even. You're Steven. It's crazy, Steven. They're filled with personalities, mm-hmm. <laughs> and you tell they tell everybody's secrets, cool, like, and you don't. Mm-hmm. They're so quiet about it, and they never have confrontation. That's why they're afraid. That's why Libras are afraid of confrontation because they know they secretly did something wrong. Hello, freaks. Like the Aries will up front do it. Libra, no, behind your back. Please. And they will complain about you behind your back after the thing. Doesn't mean that's including you, but it could be, but whatever if you're in the gut. <laughs> whatever, bro. I don't know, Libra. Dog in that bullshit. Oh, you a Libra? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, let me see this. Are you a Libra? <laughs> very, very. Oh, balance, no, completely balanced. Like, my goodness. You know how it is, but without the balance being there, like, oh, it's gotta be like this. Like, the balance. The balance. Girl, you're a perfect. Like you're a perfect. No, you look awesome. Punk oh, rock. The most embarrassed and bashful signs are Libras. Because Venus is bashful. So it's like kind of like a Mars and tour sometimes. And these are just some placements, so, you know, I find it bad. They're out, they're bashful, and they're flip side, they're like super humble. It's like one of the hot guys on one end, and they're just super. Humble on the other. It's like, okay. So yeah, the labors will be hiding, they'll be talking to them, and the other times they're like, I'll quiet them on the other. Doesn't mean you're boring. Does not mean if you're boring. Aries is a risk taker. Do things without tanking, and it's the polarity of the Libra, so. I like Aries, but man, Aries, you cannot tell them shit, motherfuckers, nothing, man. You cannot, like. Yeah, you cannot. Like, 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 with the Aries philosophy. They just, like, they, they quit. They don't grow any further. They don't open their mind to anything else. They're just simple-minded, and they're not going to, you know, do anything else. Like, I don't know. Well, that's, the leader is take initiative. They're the leader. But here's the thing, a leader, sometimes the leader's got to be stubborn. do the good things. Some stu- somewhat stubborn, but the problem is, though, Aries are, can be very stubborn. You can sit there and try to reason with them all day, and it's like, sorry, man, I've already made my decision. It's like, all right, king. It's all right, motherfucking warrior. It's like, what? Yeah, we, yeah. Oh. They're all about themselves too, kind of narcissists because they only can care about themselves because life, life is happening so much in a flash of a pan and fast with the fire and all of, of an Aries, the first light, you know, the first little kid. It's like they're alone because they're only a, for themselves. They can only know themselves like the Libras. They meet the needs of other people, you know, and, and they're um, like, but they're teetering that because they're relational. They're world marriage. They rule the kidneys. They rule too. Oh, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Man, uh, isn't like Aries fire too? Like Aries is the fire sign, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, fire is a very uh, powerful mm-hmm. element. And here's the thing now, it has to be used with a great caution. So the one thing that the Aries got to learn... That Aries got to learn, you know, with the fire, you know, you play with it wrong, you can get burned and burn down the wrong thing, so you got to stop being so arrogant, you know? That's true, there we go. There's arrogance is always the word for the uh, charismatic Aries on the outside, the hermit Aries on the inside. Nothing. Mm-hmm. And... Oh. What was your astrology sign again? What is your astrology sign again? Come here. Okay. Um. 
Let's see if I have something to say. There's nothing to do but to find your other supernatural friends that you're about to be dead with, okay? There you go. And you can live still consciously together. And pretend you went up with God because a ghost wants to surround you. That's really what it's all about to mount to. And if they lost, you know, get them. Be a helpful person for everyone. Find the spirits that need to relay their messages is what I'm going to be doing. And that's what y'all should be doing because we all can communicate in this language. And it's like the same energy. No one's separated from it or trying it or have the opportunity as of now and always, not a never. <laughs> Whatever I'm talking about, I'm just kidding myself for fun. But it's true. <laughs> it's what's happening. This is the future and you're mad about it. Voice from the future is Mercury Paris on the Cast of Pisces. Thank you. Yes. And I'm wondering, how the fuck did he know that? <laughs> I want to know that. <laughs> Awesome. Good enough for me. <laughs> no. But afterwards, without recording it, it was the best thing. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> My girlfriend, she said, like, okay, what, what would you do if Jesus, what if it, it looked like Jesus or something, and he came to you like Glinda from uh, Wizard of Oz, right? With the plasma aura lining inside, uh, looking like veins, but it's, um, like, probably friction from the plasma bubble. You know what plasma is? You can donate it and stuff. And your blood and stuff. And it'll clear kind of like a bubble, too. In a way, some of it could be. I don't know. <sighs> Once it's coagulated and filtered from all the blood, it's part of the blood. I don't really know. But yeah, what if that came to you because you were just talking about him, Jesus? What if that did happen to you? And you were driving, and what a nervous wreck, right? But, and then you're with your girlfriend, you know, like, it looks like the girl from Friends, Phoebe, but with dark brown hair. It looks just like her. And it's hot as ever. Beautiful. Bomb.com. But is a Libra Capricorn rising. Beautiful face. Every beautiful person has a Capricorn rising is a beautiful looking face. And Moon, and, um, she had, a. Uh, what? Who am I talking about? The Libra girl. Oh, my girlfriend. Oh, she had moon and cancer. She was a Capricorn rising and she was Libra. And oh my God, I saw Jesus on the street that I drive by all the time. Anyways, um, or used to. And um, so I'm, <laughs> I'm in San Diego now. <laughs> foreign. Okay, I'm a foreign. <laughs> But yeah, what would y'all do if y'all seen this being a fucking light and you just, because you were talking about Jesus, and I guess it could be Jesus or not because it was happened to do with his, we think it's Jesus. We don't know. How am I supposed to be um, lying? I'm not lying. I've just seen it. But like, that's how it came, right? And all this words about Jesus, which is because I've seen him before. <laughs> and that's what happened when I was talking about him to her because I already confirmed that I was psychic to her. So she knew that I was like, I guess she could believe me, I guess. But, um, yeah, and so he came to that bitch because this is all they do. They want to use me, and I want to be used to because I'm like, yes, I can do it. That's okay. Like, Jesus was like, tell her to send me in her heart to some other girl. But, like, uh, when I, when I, with this girl, she said, um, he said, I'm here to save Selena. That's her name, and you're mad about it. It could be Selena the James Witch. It could be Selena from... Um, that girl, because that's who it is, and you're mad about it. So, we're going to call her Selena. <laughs> um, and, um, yeah. And she was crying her ass off because she felt the same thing I did. And I could hear him, and I could see him, but she couldn't, but she could feel it. And, um, I was driving, and I found a place to stop, and whatever. And I always call it the Jesus Street, because <laughs> it is, and that's like a legend, because who else has seen them, and when has it been marked? Hello, I'm going to mark it, bitch. <laughs> uh -huh. Like, if anybody has angels around them, like, 24-7, they got the business to show to other people, because that's, you know, relevant for other people to live so blind all day, and think that it's 
okay? Just because they think, if they have a philosophy, they can make something happen. No, it's just your eyeballs. <laughs> right? I think I'm such a genius. No, I'm just pretending. <laughs> yeah. But what would y'all do? Y'all, this is why I'm recording. I want y'all's answers. What would you think about that blind, blind bullshit? And then you have to just keep on doing the thing that you've been doing is sing underneath the water. You know? It's better than anything. <laughs> yeah, really. If people don't cooperate with it, then they're going to be out of it, and then you're out of luck with playing cards. <laughs> it's basically a game. And you win and win and win. It's better than anything that's ever happened to this freak of nature, Earth. With all their stupid thoughts. <laughs> with all their stupid beliefs. Which is not a belief. It's an energy language. Just like astrology. But astrology is not psychic. It's just a social opportunity. But hell yeah, it mixes with astrology. Because astrology is inside spirit as well like it's makeup and now we have these bodies so they're just like our new spirit on this earth hello and then what searching for new power this is it you're mad about it <laughs> i guess i mean messages are powerful fuck yes because spirits will be around people who are giving their messenger right if i'm messaging off for some other spirit all line up will come and then has happened before and that's what i'm waiting for i want to be at that place where i can get all the lineup and then i'll try to help them it, it, i will i they'll help me <laughs> knowing them helps me and they tell me their sign <laughs> it would be fun but that's what i've seen already i've been through that little experience before now it's just this but you can i can i can ride off your wave going and can fly somewhere and we all come with me mm -hmm. bigger light and then something's better and then we in the company of good spirits that make us feel like shit like we're about to die <laughs> like <laughs> like we need a hospital like we have a headache no no we do not have those demons but they do exist too and we might have those too we might encounter them too whatever goes i'm going to communicate for everything and i can't be around you but at a distance bye Jesus, come back in here and just brush this away. But Jesus didn't come that one day that I saw a demon that I could see it with my cousin. We both saw it together. Same old thing. We, I was, I, I didn't tell her what he looked like. I asked her what color was what. And I just wanted to know if I was seeing the same thing that she was seeing. Instead of not telling her what I was seeing. But she, we did, and it used to haunt the fuck out of her, and I never knew that. Even when I was psychic with her, and I used to talk to her fucking dead mother, which is my best friend in spirit. <laughs> She's who I call upon if I'm talking to anybody in the family, because they're connected to that light, sappy light, light, so it's related. It can, it can be clicked in and all channeled together, because my whole family was together. My dad, when he came through, I was like, where is my aunt so and so because I, I i didn't feel too comfortable talking to him without her you know what i mean and she says you know you really need to listen to your dad so and so i um she said that to me <laughs> and um what well, i did and he just told me um i can read people like by your shoulder and help read people like their problems with each other. like yeah surprise we're all psychic and i'm doing it now <laughs> and um but um you know what I mean? And he was like, um, also, he told me, oh, he goes, oh, your mom is so beautiful. She could be a model. Well, everyone knows that when they, when they wish they could kick it, but they can't. <laughs> but my mom and her bar chart, it, it does, it matters. And, um, well, it's pretty interesting. There you go. Toodles, I guess this is into the world. Bye, bitch. You found the best. <laughs> Just kidding. It's the, it's the, it's the middle of the world because how many things happen like this every day march in history some delusional nutcase told you a story about it and you can't prove it unless you you're the witness bitch bye oh get back in my ear so bye
And you know that you were loved So good for you The life is lived What? We are in the age of We're standing on my neck <laughs> <laughs> You're standing on my neck and I'm not too mad about it, but you're standing on it. You're standing on my neck. Oh, God. Hello. We're in the age of, I can't breathe. <laughs> Once again, it's been repeated. And that was like on the Orange and the New Black. And then it happens in real life. Everything's related. What? Man. Celebrities would be really cool because that's all that's in my head. I can give psychic readings to astrology celebrity people somehow. And then I can just chop blabber about them behind their back and they don't even know me. And then somehow I'll just record it. It would be cool. Oh, I need somebody to read. I know. I need somebody to read. You are a potential, <laughs> but you have cigarettes in my way, in my soul. I've done that before when I saw an angel. She said, "I'm." She's the one that told me I'm going to show you the testimony of God, and you have good chambers. And I was like, "What's that mean?" You know. But this dude by beside me, I couldn't hear her anymore because you know I have to be in tune with your mind, with you listening with your mind, and seeing with your mind all at the same time, like juggle those two senses. Sometimes, sometimes turns off, you know, so it's just like Wi-Fi. It's exactly like Wi-Fi. You just kind of get it. It's surfing in the spirit. It's really fun. But uh, the dude, he was a Libra, and you're a Libra, which is whatever, who cares. But he did that, he said he'd rather go to sleep. Even, he says, angels are always around us, but he's never seen one. He's never heard from one like me. He's never knew that I have, he, there was one around him that day. I mean, hello. But he, he nonchalantly thought some bullshit like that. And that was not the only thing I've seen. That was just the last tip of the iceberg with him. i seen his dead ex-wife who is black and she is white. How do I know this? Because she was in spirit with me. And she told me she had diabetes feet. And she had swollen feet. She still would wear her high heels. And they had no electricity when they were alive together. They shared this table that looked like a um, uh, wooden box with a bunch of wooden pieces. You know, like, you know, like, <sighs> it's like a treasure chest looking thing, but it's all made of wood. And, like, pieces of wood, you know? And they would play cards there on it. And she also said to me that she used to read the Bible scriptures and stuff like that. And then she read one off to me, the fav her favorite one. And she, and I could, and I was trying to, read it off in spirit like I was reading something in spirit in front of me but it's all visible but to me it's visible like a virtual reality and um he said that was his, her favorite script and I never read that stuff she's reading it through you know <laughs> through me I was reading and you can also write she he all there is this other spirit that uh, wrote me uh letters and he used to put he used to make a fly with wings above every poke every eye he, he, he would draw, you know, in cursive, he would draw a little fly, uh, like you dot your eyes with hearts, he would dot his eyes with flies, and he was in spirit talking to me through, just because this dude I ran into in the park, and I asked him what his sign was, and then I asked him if I could do a second on him, and I did, I told him about how I could do it, and I did it, and their spirit was right next to me, and it was really cool, <laughs> but I didn't get to record that, <laughs> so I should have, because I can barely tell a story, <laughs> But if you could do that, what would you do? Just keep on doing it? <laughs> Arresting people until you saw God like I have? <laughs> I'm going to go out of my mind and find Jesus again. You're all going to be mad again. It. <laughs> it's only because if Jesus wants you, like if Jesus wanted it, or Jesus can find you, that's I'm the only way to make it. Maybe, because that's what he's telling me. Because he says, he's always telling me for the other person. Every spirit wants me to talk. 
for them, for the other person. It's not for me, but it's fun that I get to do this. So, it's, but it's always for all y'all. It's like just a telephone. They don't give a fuck about what I ask. Y'all need to ask. I'm like a genie, you know, like you make your wishes or something, but I can't like get out of this. <laughs> but I'm glad. I don't want to be out of this. I want to be in it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is so far out. <laughs> I have to keep myself there. And y'all have to have it to have it. I guess. I don't know. For some reason, you made me able to do that for myself. You made me, you gave me eyes to see, bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I'm not to explain it. <laughs> Will you fill this out for me? Sorry, <laughs> Nikki, do that. But I never ever asked anybody to do that for me. But I thought that you were just saying that you were going to do that for me. And I was, I said, can I do this myself? I don't really know. <laughs> and I was just like, you know, he's on something and like, and asked me, this is my slave or something. You got Leo in his chart. He's supposed to be my friend. He's Leo in his 11th house. <laughs> you got him. And you were sitting there. So go ahead. There you go. Oh, shit, man. Mm hmm. It's like, I'm sorry. You're not being here. I'm still underneath it. Is that still underneath it? Did you find anything? Okay. Am I recording? Oh my god. Wait. Look at that motherfucker. He's sad because he knows he's gonna be next. I'm gonna beat his motherfucking ass right there. He's so sad. I'm gonna punch him in the face. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Okay. <laughs> your turn. Mm. Oh shit, whoa. Whoa, it's your turn. You, I know you said roll, but you know what? <laughs> I'm not satisfied. I want to hit him again. Why can't I hit him again? 